Hi. Rosie, come on. Come here. Come on, run in the leaves. Run in the leaves. Yay, yay. Rose, come on. Rosie, come here. Yay, leaves. So I was just outside minding my own business when this beautiful flower arrangement just got delivered. I have no idea who it's from. Let's go see. Oh, it's from Kenzie. Hope you're having an amazing day. We absolutely loved working with you and you hope we can enjoy these flowers as a thanks from our team. David, why are you crying? This is a happy moment. <laughs> Chat soon. We look forward to hopefully working with you in the future. Love, Kenzie. I love when brands are sweet. Then it doesn't feel like I'm just another notch in your belt, notch in your bedpost, <laughs> whatever the saying is, a notch in your bedpost and you're just lying in the song. Follow up boy. But anyways, welcome back to today's vlog. Chef Steph is making a return to the kitchen. I feel like it's been a minute since Chef Steph has done a recipe. So um, I was gonna do like a fall recipe, but honestly, I am in the mood for chicken adobo, which if you guys are Filipino, you know what I mean. So I'm gonna make that for dinner tonight and then I think I'm gonna whip up like a fall cocktail last year i did my apple cider spicy margarita and that is honestly so hard to be if you have not seen that vlog i will link it but i think i'm gonna try it with pear because pear is like a very underrated fall fruit no i don't know but anyways i gotta run to the store and i was thinking of stopping by h&m to see if they have anything good there and maybe do a little fall haul and then come back and start cooking. So yeah, before I head out and do that, I wanna show you guys a special delivery I just got in the mail that I have been um, trying out for the past few months and I wanna share with you guys. So let me grab it real quick. So here is my special delivery, my Crowd Cow box. I have been trying out Crowd Cow recently and I have been loving them. So this company, if you're not familiar, they are basically like an online marketplace where you can order meat and seafood. So uh, I am partnering with them for this video, but when they reached out to Chef Steph, I was like, this is a match made in heaven. So basically you go on and order whatever you like. They have a huge selection of meat and seafood, like any cut you could ever imagine. They also have dog treats and uh, they have options for grass fed, pasture raised, wild caught, all of that. Um, so many different options and everything comes vacuum sealed. They freeze it at its peak freshness so it still tastes amazing when it gets to you. And the box and everything they send it to you in is sustainable so it's better for the environment. So let me show you guys everything that I got. So I have some whole chicken thighs, which we'll be using for our chicken adobo later on. Uh, I picked up some of these BLT dog wraps, dog treats. David's right there and he doesn't even know that this is a dog treat. Uh, I got some New York strip steak and then I picked up these lobster tails. I've actually never made lobster at home, surprisingly. Um, so I decided to pick these up as well. So yeah, that's everything that I got. Like I said, there's way more options. They have like anything you would ever want. And when you place your order, you can also see where your food is coming from. And they work with farmers who use the best practices for producing the meat and seafood. So I feel like that's great. It just feels better quality and it feels better knowing where it's coming from versus the grocery store when you pick it up, you have no idea where that's really coming from. So yeah, I've really been loving Crowd Cow. It saves me a trip to the grocery store and you can order on your own schedule anytime you want, but I just like knowing that I have a freezer full of meat and seafood that I can throw out at any time. So I'm gonna put everything away. I'll put the steak and the lobster in the freezer and the chicken thighs in the fridge to thaw while I'm gone. But if you guys are interested, uh, you can click the link in the description box to get $15 off your first order. You can also save an extra 5% off everything. You put in your box when you become a member which is the best deal and if you use my code your membership is free so i know a bunch of you guys wanted to see how i decorated for fall honestly it's super duper minimal and i pretty much only decorated with the things that i showed you guys in my haul so um we have that little candle which is from amazon it sucks it smells like absolutely nothing but the jar is cute uh this is from target i also bring that into my makeup room when i film i want to buy another one but they've been sold out every single time i go there then on my mantle i just have some glass pumpkins these gold candelabra i just felt super fancy saying that and this little burgundy leaf 
Garland, which I believe is from Target as well. Then over here, we just have Boney Tony holding it down in the bay window. Then my dining room table is incredibly cute with tons of boxes and random shit all over it. But in the center, we have that amazing maple leaf vase situation which i love then my dining room shelves i just have some books candles pumpkin obviously you guys can see i don't know why i need to tell you it but <laughs> Uh, more vases then over here i just added that little skeleton hand on top of the books that little vase over here then over here we have three extremely adorable dogs uh these would be very hard to find in any store near you good luck trying fall coffee table decor book pumpkin whatever this little guy is this little pine cone flower arrangement then over here we just did a cable knit pillow a nice faux fur pillow accentuated with dog hair where's my chom chom god rose you see that though you see that <laughs> you like that just kidding i know you do all right i will finish this up later probably Definitely picked the wrong day to wear a sweatshirt. Do you guys wear t-shirts or tank tops underneath your sweatshirt? Cause I don't, I saw that on Twitter and I definitely don't, but it's like 80 degrees today. So I'm literally sweaty and I can't take this off cause then I'll be nude. I'm not nude, I have a bra on at least. That's weird. So I did end up picking up some things from H&M. I will try them on for you guys really quick. I know I haven't done my usual fall clothing haul this year. I just haven't really been that impressed with the things that I've ordered online. I get them, they either don't fit or I just am not in love with the quality. So um, I think these are gonna be good options. So I'm gonna try them on for you guys really quick. This is literally me in sweater form. Do we agree? If you know me, then you know the answer to that, but obsessed with the color of this it's like a color that works year round like fall winter spring this color is appropriate and that is essential here in new york state because sweater weather is about three quarters of the year so that is important when i'm sweater shopping it's basically just like a sweater haul cute sweater and jeans is my uniform love a good hound's tooth this would be really cute with like cream denim or brown denim or even black and i actually have the same sweater la from last year in this polka dot print still love it and i think they still make it in this print as well but the material is so soft it has some stretch to it and i'll definitely be wearing this on repeat i also ended up getting this sweater which it's a two-in-one you're putting on your sweater and your jewelry at the same damn time and what more could you want? Multitasking, multitasking, multitasking. This is fun too. This is, I don't know if the camera is gonna pick it up, but it's like a deep, dusty olive green, which I really like. I don't have anything this color. It's almost like between like a gray and an olive. And I really liked the sleeve detail. So it's not quite a turtleneck, it's like a mock, and then it has these big ass sleeves, which make it fun, right? This is a no for me because my breasts look extremely large, but if you're into that, or if you don't have that, sure, sure. This is just my jam. I feel like my arms are looking very good due to the Pilates. Super lightweight, very good for layering, and obviously the color, I do not even have to go into the color. We don't need to talk about it. We already know why I bought it. <laughs> You already know. David, do you want to be in the show? This is how tall David is, if you're wondering. <laughs> if he extends his paws, he's a good five and a half feet. Urgh. And then lastly, I got this like Sherpa bomber. 
I do really like it. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it just because I did order something similar from Express, I believe. Or maybe it was Abercrombie that I'm waiting for it to come in the mail. So this is super cute. I'll just have to see if I like it better than the other ones that I ordered. But it's so soft. The inside is not like that material though. It's just kind of like a regular jacket lining. But this is really cozy. And I really like the length of it too. I like that it's more of like a cropped style but you could definitely get like a size or two up if you want it like slouchy okay so excuse if my makeup is not looking ideal i don't really feel like redoing it just to make dinner i mean i probably showed this in my job i should probably touch it up but i feel like you guys understand anyways uh we're back in the kitchen chef stuff is back and i am making chicken adobo which is a staple in the filipino culture and if you did not know i am a quarter filipino or actually 28% according to 23andMe Ancestry, whatever it's called. I'm not really sure where I got the extra 3%, but my dad is half. My grandfather came here from the Philippines, I want to say in the 50s. But yeah, some of you guys do know this because I have a lumpia recipe from Vlogmas years ago. Uh, but if you did not know, now you know. So this recipe is so incredibly easy. It's so good and you do not have to be Filipino to enjoy it. Like Tommy actually loves chicken adobo. I don't know what it is. I honestly, when we first had it, like at a family a function, I didn't think he would really like it because I don't know. If you didn't grow up eating it, like I just sometimes, I feel like you just don't know if it's gonna be one of those things that are just like an acquired taste, but he loves it. So it's basically like a chicken with gravy, but a filipino style so don't be afraid to try this recipe out it's so good it's comforting especially on like a cool fall winter's eve it's just so good today i'm using my crowd cow chicken thighs they have skin on and the bone is in so sometimes i just do regular boneless skinless chicken thighs which is amazing um but i feel like with the bone in and the skin on you get extra flavor like from the skin and the bone but you know it's more fatty that way but you do not want to use chicken breast chicken breast is not gonna work for this chicken breast is just no i'm not a fan i'm not really a fan unless it's like chicken franchise anyways getting distracted let me show you the recipe you guys are gonna love it over here i have my pan heating up i'm gonna add some oil not too much just a little bit so we can brown the chicken thighs so like a few tablespoons or so then over here we have the chicken thighs you really want to make sure to pat them dry just so you're not like steaming them and there's not like any excess moisture so i'm gonna add them in who oh, knew no why is it spinning stop spinning i put it ah this is not what you want to do <laughs> not what you want to do so i'm gonna do like this many which is five do some freshly ground black pepper to season. Get it all stirred up. If you're doing it just like boneless, skinless chicken thighs, you don't really need to do this stuff. You can just like add this in and then add in all the other ingredients. But if you have the skin on, you wanna make sure to get it nice and browned. Next, I'm gonna add in my minced garlic for all you haters who shame me for using minced garlic. I don't care. I'm living with it. I'm choosing minced garlic. I'm going to add in like a heaping tablespoon. Caramel skin, long hair, thick thighs. Is that how the song goes? So then I'm going to add in a little bit of honey, which I don't think this is really traditional, but this is how we do it. Either use uh, brown sugar or honey. Just gives a little bit of like sweetness and like caramelization so I'm just gonna like drizzle this over top stir it all up so then you want to do vinegar and soy sauce and I feel like everyone's recipe the ratio is a little bit different but um, I'm doing like equal parts so I'm gonna use rice vinegar you can use uh, like Filipino vinegar obviously too white vinegar apple cider vinegar whatever you have really will work you just need the vinegar for acidity so I'm gonna do about a half a cup of this and then a half a cup of soy sauce and again you can use like cool Filipino soy sauce but 
that you can't even really find around here unless you go to an Asian store, so. Kiko Mon will do. Then I'm just gonna add about a cup of water. So if you don't want it brothy, you don't have to do water, but we like ours brothy. And that way you're basically like boiling the chicken like in this like brothy mixture. If you don't add that, it'll be more of like a thick syrupy sauce, but we like it brothy, so we're doing it brothy. All right, so once you have that in, you're gonna add in one or two bay leaves so these big giant leaves you don't eat them but they add really nice flavor then i'm going to add in some whole black peppercorns so not a ton just like that much again it just adds really nice flavor and for me personally, because I like extra garlic, I actually add in a few cloves of whole garlic. Again, just for the flavors. You're not really gonna eat this unless you're like into it. Like I would eat like a giant piece of garlic. I'm not afraid to do that, so. So that's pretty much it. You're gonna put a lid on it and let it simmer for like half an hour. And that's basically all you have to do. It's so good. It's even better the next day. I feel like leftovers are so good. And yeah, the uh, bone in and the skin on will give your sauce a little bit more of like a gravy like quality because of like the gelatin and whatever is like in the skin and the bone, it's gonna give it more of like a gravy-ish vibe. Um, you could use uh, drumsticks too, that would be good. But like I said, don't, don't do chicken breast. It's not, it's not gonna be good. It's not gonna be good. Uh, you could also use pork. While that is simmering on the stove, I'm gonna utilize the time to make an alcoholic beverage. So uh, last year I did a spicy apple cider margarita and you guys loved that. And honestly, I feel like that's my favorite beverage I've ever concocted. It's so good. I've been to restaurants where they don't even make it as good as me. So that's, that's saying something, that's saying something. This year, I wanted to try a spiced pear spicy margarita because I feel like spiced pears are kind of like a fall fruit as well and it just sounds like it's going to be good so i'm going to basically do the exact same recipe but sub out apple cider for spiced pear juice so i could not find any spiced pear juice so my brilliant mind thought of this idea so i bought pear juice this just comes in the juice section but what i did is i threw a bunch of cinnamon sticks in there and let them marinate and like diffuse into the juice so together this pear creates a spiced pear juice so i thought that was pretty genius on my part i really did so i'm gonna do two oh i'm leaking two parts of the pear juice then the tequila I'm using is the same one from last year. This one is so good. I've tried a few um, like jalapeno uh, tequilas, but this one I feel like is so much better. It's spicy without burning you. You just have the flavor of the ghost pepper, but not like, oh my God, it's burning my throat. So I'm gonna add like a shot of this. Then because I didn't buy lime juice, I'm just gonna add in a little bit of margarita mix. What is the correct way to slice a pear, I wonder? That didn't seem like it would be it. Hmm. I'm not sure. How about I just a nice little wedge? Then for the rim, again, I'm gonna do a mixture of tahine. And also cinnamon and sugar. wet the rim with my pear slice. And let's add another cinnamon stick in there for aesthetic purposes. I don't know, I wanted the pear in there, but I don't know how to, should I just put the whole thing? <laughs> I don't know. It is pretty good. Oh yeah. It almost tastes the same, to be honest. 
So if you're not an apple cider person, which I am, try the pear because I feel like you would like it. Yeah, the more I drink it, the more that I like it. Which is always a good sign. You know, sometimes when you have a margarita and it's like too sour, like the more that you drink it, the more gross it is. This is better. You do kind of want to like stir it, like as it's on there, just like one or two times, just to make sure everything is nice and coated. But this is what it should look like. Does this not look super duper good? I know everyone has like their own way of doing adobo, but this is what I grew up on and I love it. And then to go with it, you just want to serve it with some rice. I'm cheating and using Uncle Ben's ready rice because it's just way easier. Why would I not do this? Does it cause cancer? I have no idea. You guys probably will say that to me also, but it's so much easier and it, you never like burn the rice or mess up or anything like that. So I'm just gonna pop this in the microwave and then we'll be ready to go. Damn it. Wow, that escalated quickly. Oh well. It's not always pretty, but it is good. It's not looking that cute, but that's all right. Why are you holding your fork like that? Yeah, no, it's like, good, right? It's one of my favorites. That's pretty much it. Super good, super easy. And this is really good too. Cheers. I don't have anything. Oh, I didn't make you one, because you don't like it. I don't like tequila.